let's have a look at our project. This is the blueprint for the product that the orchestra is presenting to its customers, you, the audience. This is a page of a score that the conductor sees. You people over here, you are going to be our first violins, okay? You are the biggest department in our orchestra. In a full symphony orchestra, there are about 16 of you. You act as a unit. Your chief aim, in fact, the aim of all the string parts, is to do exactly the same. <laughs> Try something else. Very good. Uh, decides the balance. All right, let's try something. Let's try, try to respond to me. Try to respond to me with your claps. One single clap. Here we go. Try it. And like any leader, the conductor can actually influence how well the people in front of them perform. If the orchestra is inspired and sort of motivated by the conductor, they will pick up their game and they will play better. It's as simple as that. that question, couldn't the musicians just do that on their own? Do they really need a conductor? Well, in the case of an orchestra, think of the conductor as like a painter. A painter combining the orchestra's colours on a canvas. Yeah, these guys here are all artists too, but it's impossible for 10, 20, 120 painters all to work on the same painting. You cannot express different artistic visions in the same work. It's up to the conductor to examine that score that I showed you, to come up with a vision, and then to convince and motivate everybody to participate in that vision, irrespective of how they would go about it. 